What is this? Is this a fish? Uh oh, guys. I think I caught myself a whale. This is a. This is huge, dudes. Wow. This is like. What the heck is that? Is that a giant brown trout? It looks like it. Fish on again, boys! Fish on again! I think I got another beast! Holy Toledo! Is this another one? No way! I think I just caught another giant! Alright, whoa! That was deep. Pay attention to where you're going and not the camera. Jeez. Alright, so make it. Whoa, it's really deep there. Wowza. I didn't realize it was so deep. At least in that spot it is. Alright. We're just at local stream near house. It's windy. It's cold. Uh, it's probably about, I don't know, it's about 32 degrees. It's right on the hinge of snow melt and then the creek. So it has the potential of being cold, windy, and do we catch something? We sure hope so, but there's no guarantees today. So let's get in here and see what we can make happen. We'll see how it goes. It might be just too cold out here today. I might have to make it a two-parter and do it again tomorrow. We don't know yet. Any trout there just happen to be hungry enough to who something's chasing it oh got one guys got me brook trout i think that's a brook trout is that a brown nope it's a brownie all right guys first fish of the day all right Woohoo! good way to start the day guys good way to start the day let me get my hands wet here all right check that guy out i want to get him out of the water fast and put him back in the water check it out guys here we go he liked it all right here we go guys First fish of the day, check it out. Whee, there he goes. Swimming back up in there. Well, that was fun. Ah, what a great way to start the day. Trying to do the head camera, guys. It just looked like bobblehead. I'm gonna keep practicing this summer with it, but for right now, I'm just doing chesty for the time being. Oh, uh, fish on, boys and girls, fish on again. Another teeny little brown trout, but you know what? It's a fish, and I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna be happy with it. Woohoo! And look at it, oh, he's out of the net, too. All right, we gotta get this over here. We're having too many troubles getting the net. All right, we're just gonna put the rod down over here temporarily. We gotta hurry up and get this guy back in the water. There he is. In there, stay cold, buddy. All right, guys and girls. Not another giant, but hey, caught him on my spinner, dudes. There he is. Say hello to the people. There you go. Check out that fish, dudes. That's, well, that's number two. He's not a giant. I suppose if you hold him like right up here by the camera, he's pretty big. All right, let's get going. See you later, dude. Have a great day. Cool. He didn't swim upstream either, so I might have a chance for another one. We'll try to go around this spot, I suppose. And then uh, see what else we can catch upstream. Fish on, boys and girls, fish on again. Where are we go this time? We got another brown trout. Go figure. That's awesome. Three fish so far makes me pretty day happy. And three fish to hand. All right, dudes. My hand wet real quick. This guy is not coming off the hook. Check it out, guys. I'm gonna hold him up for two seconds to get him back right away, but check him out, man. There it is. That's what worked right there. That's it. All right. Well, we'll get him back in the water. I'm not even gonna bother weighing this dude. This dude's her neck weighing. I'm not even gonna bother measuring him. Weigh him. This guy probably doesn't even weigh a pound. All right, let's get this hook out of him. That was easy. Check it out. He's like really interesting colors on him. All right, dude. Sorry. We'll get you going there. All right. See you head downstream. All right. Woohoo. That was fun. All right. Let's catch another one. Oh, cool. This is working out good. If they're biting, I might have to go upstream and try another few spots because why not? While I'm here, let's get out as much as we can. Here we go. Last time I was right on the, on the snow. And I let it fall off the snow and I started slowly retrieving it off that root ball over there. Well, I got another one. Oh, what the heck was that? Jeez, that was not a good. That was another big giant something or other, or it was a maybe there's a stick right. No, I don't see any sticks right in that spot. So dang it, try it again. I'll get it up over there. 
pull it down here off this deep weeds. Whoa, we got him. We got him that time. Oh, we got him. I think we got, oh, did he get off? No, he's not off. Look at him, he's jumping out of the water. There he is. Look at the colors on this dude. He's lit up really beautiful. Wow, yeah. I don't think he's it's a big one that hit the first time, but maybe. Check this out, guys. This is a better one. This guy is just like beautiful colors, too. Check him out. You got the hands wet again here. I hurry up, get this guy in the water fast. And get him back going on his way. He's off the hook. All right, guys. There we go. Look at the colors on this dude. He's freaking beautiful. Look at that. Say hello. All right. Let's get the release. Later, Tater. There he goes. Swimming back up in the hole, which means we're probably not going to catch another fish there. Maybe we can get up there faster before he gets in. Sweet. All right, guys, this is all I'm using today. I'm using a number three blade. That's a 3 8 ounce lure body. Uh, just a little gold beads on both ends. And that's a number four Matsuzu hook with a number two split ring on there. Uh, the wire is a .036. These are all ones that I make at home. This is one of my personal ones that I did. So uh, I love this single hook design. It's been working out really well. If you're interested in making these kind of things, if you go online, if you go, actually, if you're interested in making one of these things, right down in the description below, there's gonna be a link. And that link will take you to my tackle store. And in my tackle store, you'll find all the things you need to make lots and lots of spinners like this. So if you're interested in making one of these, come to my site and you can pick up all these pieces because all these pieces are available for sale. All right, let's get back to fishing. 20 minutes later. All right, after scrambling around the truck, looking under the seat, I found the old GoPro 4. I didn't even really have it with me. Anyways, inside that GoPro 4, I had a four gig camera, four gig card. So, all right, dudes, we got enough room. At this point, we have enough batteries. Let's just fish. I'm just gonna walk up here and as far as I can and see if I can catch anything. Keep on trying. That lower section was awesome. This better be better up here, so. Oh, they're rising up there. Something's rising. I got a good feeling about this. That's a big riser too. All right, slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh yeah, they're rising like crazy up there. Something's happening up ahead. I don't think there's a chance I can get it that far, but maybe. Let's try it. Nope. Didn't go. Fish on, boys and girls. Fish on again. What do we got this at? Guarantee it's a brown trout. Oh, there he goes, and he swam away. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. All right. There's a lousy 0. 0.5. I was having a little trouble getting my net down. Oh, what was that? I felt like a big fish, or it was a big log, one of the two. See, he chases it to me. Oh, he did. He chased it right to me. Holy Toledo, guys. That was a, like at least a 16-incher. I don't think he'll ever bite again, but let's just try it one more time, see what happens. He came all the way to me and then got right here in front by my knees and then turned around at the last second. So at least he'll get, maybe his brother will come up and bite it. So apparently snagged up, lost the other one. And these fish are kind of big, so instead of just using the one i was using i switched out this one here is about this is a 3 8 ounce uh it's kind of big that's got a number one hook on it i'm hoping that having it with a little bit bigger hook with a little bit longer shaft on there and a little bit heavier guy and it might be able to get some distance and then also in the process probably these fish didn't look small so maybe just maybe i'll hook into one and be able to bring it to the to the net and show it to you. We'll see. What is this? Is this a fish? Uh-oh, guys. I think I caught myself a whale. Is this is a, this is huge, dudes. Wow, this is like, I don't even know what the heck. Is this a, what the heck is that? Is that a giant brown trout? It looks like it. Wow, it is. 
He's massive. Look at the size of that dude, guys. Whoo, look at that. Whoo, look at the size of that guy. He is huge. We gotta get him to a safe location over here. Gotta keep him wet. Keep him in the net. Keep him in a safe location. And then we got a, holy Toledo, guys. This is crazy. Wow. This guy is huge. Wow, this is like really, really, really big. This is like something I wasn't planning on catching for weeks from now. Because, you know, the way the season's been and everything's been going on. Wow. Hey, God, I'm using that single hook too. Dudes, this is big. Look at the size of this fish, guys. Can you see that? Look at the size of this dude. He's huge. All right. He's just barely hooked in the corner of his mouth with that single hook. I mean, he's just barely hooked. I'll have him free and swimming away in a few minutes here. Not even no blood, nothing bad. All right, I'm gonna do a measurement. This guy right here, he is 20 inches long. Wow, I can't believe that I caught a 20 inch brown trout. This guy's still in the water down here in a nice safe location. Check it out, man. That is my first PB of the year. Let's see if we can catch one way bigger than that soon. Wow, look at the size of that dude. In the water he goes. All right, guys. That's probably not ever gonna happen again while I'm here. And I'm sure you're gonna walk up here and try a couple more times. Uh, wow. So what happened was is that, I'll turn around here because it's windy. What happened here is I lost my spinner. I got caught on the shore and I tried pulling on it and it broke. So I don't know where it went. So I switched out to this guy. He's a little less than a half ounce. Number five blade on there, three eighths ounce lure body. Oh, this is another massive hook. It's a little bit longer Aberdeen. Oh, and it's, you know, it works all great. And oh yeah, you wanna buy parts to make your own like this? Come to my store, I got lots of them. Well, we're almost out of gold blades. We're getting more supply in here in about a week. Uh, if you want to get on them, you better try to get there quick. Wow, I can't believe I caught that guy. Let's try that again. Fish on again, boys! Fish on again! I think I got another beast! Holy Toledo! Is this another one? No way! I think I just caught another giant. Oh no, did he get after us? He's just swimming towards me. <laughs> Holy Toledo, look at the size of him. That can't be the same fish. Maybe it is. How could he be dumb enough to bite it twice? I don't know. I don't think that's, oh, that one's got more color. He's way colored up. Well, wow, get in there, guy. Well, wow, come on. I got a bigger net. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, wow, guys, this is a, a day for me to remember on this stream. This never happens. Look at the size of this guy. He doesn't even fit in the net. He's huge. All right, we'll keep him in the water. We'll keep him wet. Barely hooked. That single hook. Oh, wow. You gotta be kidding me. This could have happened twice. Oh, wow, dudes. This is beyond insane. No way. Could this possibly be happening to me right now? I mean, it is, but... I don't know how it is. <sighs> Holy Toledo. <sighs> Holy Toledo mosquito. <sighs> oh, wow. All right. I'm going to pull this guy out and get a length on him. And he is. Wow. Yeah. There's just no way about that. He's a. Uh, no way. He's 20. He's exactly 20 inches. I don't think it's the same guy. But, uh, wow. Wow, dudes. Let me get this hook out of him. Look at the size of this guy. Wow, he's 20 inches long. He's almost as big as the last one. But look at the size of him. All right. Look at this dude. This is the second one of the day. Look how big this dude is. This is my second PB of the day. This guy is 20 inches. I think the other one was 21. But look at the size of this guy. Woohoo! Look at the size of that guy. Time for you to catch some big fish, brother. There he goes. Come get him. 
Woo! Yeah! So, ho, 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 I can't believe it happened. What a day, dude. This is the best day so far this year. I got me, I think I got it. One was a 21 inch and the other one was 19. No, the other one was 20 inches. One was 21, one was 20. They were back to back, not even five minutes apart. Two gigantic fish. I never would have thought I'd caught something out of that stream like that. It was like, Jesus. I don't know, man. I am flabbergasted. That's one of these streams that gets beat up and lots of people fish there all the time. And I, yeah. I'm going to have to go back there. Today's a Wednesday, so I'll probably go back there Thursday or Friday and get on it one more time before this video airs, and there's going to be 50 people up in there. <sighs> boy, oh boy, what a what a day, man. This is a day for the record books. Yeah, that was freaking awesome just to be able to catch another bigger fish like that. You know, two of them like that, back to back from each other, too. And they all bit on that single hook gold inline spinner. I'm telling you, the second one was about almost a half ounce. I didn't think I was going to catch anything. I thought it was going to be way too big for the time. And it caught a fish. What the hell? The first one was a number three blade with a, oh, I think it was a quarter ounce lure body. And it had a single Mizuto hook on there that was a number four, I think. The second one was a number one. This was a four. But anyways, I mean, I don't know. I can't believe they worked. I didn't kick butt. The first spot I went to, just a bunch of little small ones. But you know what? It got me out there. And... It gave me some hope that something upstream was going to happen. Oh, wow. I just cannot believe this happened. I am so excited. I mean, geez, I can't wait to look at the footage. Oh, man. Thanks for tagging along with me today. Thanks for, like, tuning in. Thanks for liking. Like and subscribe this video, please. I'd appreciate it big time. Oh, my God. What a deal. This is fantastic. I don't even know. I'm just going to keep blabbing here. So I think it's best for me to just move on and go home. I can't wait to go home and edit this. But anyways, guys, there's going to be a head over here. There's going to be a playlist over here. Let's go check out that tips, tricks, and techniques of places I fish in the Driftless. Like today, that was, uh, I don't know, that was phenomenal for me. And the winter like this, too. I mean, look at this. This thing, everything's frozen rock solid. That spot that I was on was solid for, like, geez, the whole season so far. Oh, excuse me. And I could not get in there to fish because it was all covered with ice. And yes, well, two days ago it was covered with ice in there and I couldn't fish in there. I was like kind of going, geez, how long is this going to be before it opens up? Today I go down in there, it's open. No tracks from any person being in there. I go down in there, get in there quick, and I caught two massive sized fish. Ah, oh, wow. Anyways, head playlist. Talk to you on the next episode. See ya in a bit.